What does a department store like ours need? I'm sure I can gather something good from the towns I've visited up till now. Right. First stop is... there. Hello again, Winterbloom. Now, what should I stock up on here? <sighs> that was so tasty. The bread is good, and so are the noodles. High quality wheat really does make all the difference. I'm getting hungry. So that's why the food's so good here. The secret's in the wheat. Righty then. Special wheat flour it is for the shop's first showpiece wear. for the business, friend. Next stop, clock bank. It'll be nice to see Floyd's smiling face again. Look who it is, Portesio. How's it going? Fantastic, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Now, mind if I ask a question? Not at all. For you, I'd be happy to field a hundred. I'm trying to find this town's specialty problem. Got any leads for me? Hmm. Why not pocket watches? I didn't know there were clocks so small they fit in your pocket. There are. Perhaps you could tell by the clock tower, but our town has a close relationship with things that tick in any form. Well, that settles it then, Floyd. Our second showpiece wear will be clock bank pocket watches. I'll take that. Right then. 
Time to make arrangements for my final major wear. Back to where all this began, Ores Rush. <laughs> well, if it isn't my boy. Where have you been? Couldn't even send your old pops a letter? Well, of course you couldn't. Now, nah, what brings you back? <laughs> Trey, what else, pops? I've come with a business proposal for you. A business proposal? A good one, I take it? Sure is. I'm setting up a shop that stocks the world's wares. Al Ron's Department Store is the name. I'm here to buy our finest sterling for sale on its shelves. Uh, hmm. Sounds like an interesting enterprise. You got it, son. I'll part with Ors Rush's finest silver work for you. Thank you kindly, Pops. There, I've got enough to stock all our shelves now. Time to head back to the shop and get ready to open. Time to report back to Alron and let him know the good news. <laughs> I bet his jaw drop in surprise when he hears. Hmm. I finally tracked you down, Particio. Who the fuck are you? Just in case. Oh, what's, what's this, this now? now? Fog? There's all room for a fog bank to roll on through. Whoa there. Alron's manor's gone white as a ghost. What in tarnation's going on? It's even misty inside. Uh, this fog, it ain't right. Dang, if 
Fogs everywhere. Master Particio. Hey, you all right? Stay with me, fella. A um, man. He appeared out of the mist with a strange device. He... He attacked me. That's rotten. Where'd he go? To... Master Alron's room. I failed him. I should have stopped the intruder. Porticio, please. You leave it to me. I'll deal with that suspicious snake. Hold on, Alron. I'm coming. Alron! Particio, stay back! There's something hiding in this fog! There, there is? It's too dangerous! Leave me! Run! Sorry, Alron. I can't do that. I never turn my back when there's an enemy lurking about. Still, it's hot as high noon here. Oh, this mist. I could swear I've seen its lack before. I, I got it. This ain't mist nor fog. It's steam. But why is there steam in here? Oh, ho, ho. Some varmint sneaking around using the steam to hide, eh? I don't know who or what you are, but didn't your parents teach you any manners? I don't care if you're some sort of fog monster or what. I'm ready to fight. Come on! Sneaky little devil. What to do? My turn. Allow me. My turn. You're exposed. How dare you? You're too kind. More study is required. My turn. I'll end this. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Who's next?
You're good. Wait, I know you. You're Mr. Rock's employee. Name of the... Uh... My name's Thurston, you twit. You're as infuriating as ever, you idealistic bumpkin. Because of you, I... I... I was fired. Rock gave me the axe. Me! Huh? He did? You ruined my life, Articio. So I'll kill you and put a stop to your pathetic little business deal with Alrond. That will get me back in Rock's good graces. It has to. I don't get what's got your britches in a twist, but I've never turned down a brawl. A word of warning, I never hold back in a fight, neither. Just the cure. You're too kind. Here goes. <laughs> what to do? What to do? No mercy, only pain. What to do? As swift as a snap plate is over. Try me. Ready? Uh. Try me. My turn. Choose your next move wisely. Here goes. <laughs> nice. Now it begins. How's this? I'm just getting warmed up. I don't know the meaning of the word mercy. Much appreciated. I return your wrath twofold. He's hotty. Use this to great thank you, Casty. Okay, so Dorner's Charity doesn't work on, uh... Darkness descend. Prepare yourself. What, what is this? My blood boils. Here you come. Now. 
now it begins. I owe you. Here I come. Choose your next move wisely. My spear does not bear. You're 
to come. Shucks. I've got just the cure. This will make it all right. Thanks. I return your wrath twofold. Footed, aren't you? Here goes. Arrow, of course. Here I go. Poison slash. My turn. I know no cure for evil.
I... I've been foiled. You don't feel a lick of remorse for what you've done, do you? Listen, the reason Mr. Rock gave you the boot was because you were playing dirty. No. No. But I'm a forgiving sort, so let me give you a chance to set matters right. You're hired, fella, if you want the job. Excuse me? Of course, I gotta kick that offer down the line a bit. I don't have the funds to pay you yet. But, once I buy the rights to the steam engine from Mr. Rock, you got a place working for me. What a joke. You don't really believe you can produce 80 billion, do you? Who knows for sure? Still, I believe I can do it. In the end, a person can't achieve nothing unless they got faith in themselves. You're a man of unnatural tenacity. That's a talent. You'd make a good worker for sure. Just you wait a little while, Thurston. I promise the day will come when I can give you a job. I... I admit defeat. You have a risk-friendly approach to life, don't you? I don't doubt you'd hire anyone off the street, no matter their credentials or background. Everyone's got a job they're suited for. Only problem's figuring out what that is. Oh, but by the by, I came to let you know how the store's doing. Oh? I've been eagerly awaiting news. How's business? <laughs> Try to keep your socks on, but... That's a lot of people. Huh. Feast your eyes on this! A genuine clock bank pocket watch! As part of our opening sale, we're offering two for the price of one. Act now, they're going fast. I'll take one! Oh, me too, me too! Uh, this deal's gonna bankrupt me, but what the heck? Go on and take it, you thieves. Oh, my. This energy, this verve. Well Grove has returned to the hustle and bustle of better days. What magic did you work to achieve this partitio? <laughs> simple. First magic spell was a simple policy. Sell high quality goods on the cheap. By centralizing the destination for our suppliers, uh, that's this place. We simplify logistics and enable transportation en masse. That lowers the cost of said transport, meaning we can sell better goods for cheaper. Spell number two. This department store itself. The convenience of having all these goods in one place means people stop by loads of stores and buy more, more, more. In short, we built the place so lots of folks can and want to shop here. It's bound to make it livelier than a rodeo. These two simple ideas are what's generating all that energy. <laughs> that and a dash of passion. I wish my father could have been here to see this. Thank you, Particio. This more than proves your worth. As promised, here is my end of the bargain. Eighty billion leaves.
Uh, wh what's this little thing? A check. A promissory note that you can exchange for legal tender. I figured it would be rather hard to carry around 80 billion in coin. Oh, good point, I guess. Hmm? If you are dissatisfied, I can throw some silk into the bargain. Uh, no, no, I, I trust you at your word, Alron. Oh, right. We should draw up a contract for this loan. Promise that I'll pay you back. Not necessary. You've already given me a down payment. But that's just my calling card. Single silver leaf. Indubitably. This is a symbol. A promise that no mere paper can equal. Our honor. Alrighty then. Time to swing on over to Mr. Rock's place. Buy up that steam engine. If I may ask, do you really intend to sign a deal with Rock? I do not expect a businessman of his caliber to simply hand over the steam engine willingly. A word of warning. Do not trust that man, Particio. Exactly. You would do well to ponder how he will react to your proposals and plan accordingly. Well, thanks for the warning, Alron. Much appreciated. Probably read that contract. Particio! Hello there! Yeah! Ori! Oh, seriously, where do you keep coming from? Not important. Have I got a scoop for you. Magnate Rock has released a proclamation. A big announcement is coming regarding the steam engine. Massive, earth-shaking! Uh, suspicious timing. Wonder what he's up to. Hmm. Huh. Hope he didn't get tired of waiting for me and made some wild play while I was out beating the bushes. Yeah, might as well head on over and see what all the fuss is about. Wait a sec. Does that mean you've collected the dough? <laughs> you could say that. Oh, big scoops are falling from the sky today. Wait until my brother hears about this. I believed in you from the start, Particio. Hey, don't leave! I wasn't finished yet. The proclamation will be made on Rock's very own private island. Rock Island! It's private property, so there are no ferries. You'll need a ship to get there. <laughs> well, I already got my own vessel. It's a fine vessel, too. Purchased fair and square from Terra.